I have an NDC story. Charlie, things are going to get heated up in 2020. How's Baumia is looking for an inmate? John Mahama is looking for an inmate. Okay, grapevine. I'm bringing it from the grapevine. So uh, today is what? Tuesday? Saturday. I was in a conversation with some NDC people. I won't mention their names, otherwise they may get into trouble. And uh, I asked them that. We, we spoke in Pigeon as we normally do. And I asked them that, ah, Chief, is my man going to change his running mates? There are three of them, and there are another two. We were talking somewhere. I said, is my man going to change his running mates? He said, who's your man? I said, your mama. Then they laughed at me. He said, your mama is your man. I said, oh, yeah, but he's my man. Then we all laughed. Then the argument started. And I said, sure, Charlie, the guy, he has to change. Somebody said he has to change his running mate. He can't continue like that. Look at the numbers. I said, what are you talking about numbers? So after the conversation, I picked the story from there. I picked the presentation that I'm going to show you. So here is uh, President John Dramani Mahama and Dr. Kobna D, you know, Dr. Kobna D, former governor, uh, former minister of finance. Dr. Kobna Dufour's image is economics, by and large. Really, it's economics. So if Dr. Kobna Dufour is talking politics, he's talking economics politics all the time. That's, that's the only thing he says, economics politics. Politics of food, inflation, uh, uh, consumer uh, uh, price index, those terms they use, the basket of goods, uh, reverse inflation, imported inflation, food inflation. Those are the things Dr. Dufour talks about as an economist. That's what he is. So uh, the pressure is mounting on John Dramani Mahama. I have to say, though, that from all that I know, and from all that people know, John Dramani Mahama is still with Jena Nopo Kwajima, but there's a lot of pressure mounting. So this visit, and I can tell you on authority today that uh, Dr. Dufour has re reversed, has returned the visit. He has reciprocated the visit to John Dramani Mahama. That's not on TV, that's on the news. You heard it here first. Dr. Dufour has done that. So his build up is getting tighter. So here's Dr. Dufour and John Dramani Mahama. Uh, and then they sat down. And uh, so you see, Jenan Opoku Ajiman is not in this meeting. For some reason, I'm not sure why. But he's not in this meeting. This is John Dramani Mahama. This is, I don't know where this is. Maybe Dr. Dufour's house, I'm not sure. This is John Dramani Mahama. This is Dr. Dufour. This is my best friend, Fifi Kwete. This is a man I thoroughly respect, Elijah Hudu. I, I sat behind him at Makola Law School back in the days. I sat behind Hudu and he sat in front of us. I felt very proud. This is the guy who was the general secretary of the NDC. I used to interview and we sat. He was in front of me. I was behind him. And uh, he, when he, stand, he comes to the class, we all stand up, we greet. And then Hudu takes his seat. Very, very nice guy. Very, very brilliant man. I love Hudu Yaya to bits. That's Hudu Yaya. And that's Julius Debra, who is my very good friend. Julius Debra is, a, is such a great guy. So this is the cabal, if you like, in quotes, without no, 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 no disrespect intended, but I'm just using the word cabal. Now they went to see Dr. Dufour, okay? So I don't know what they are saying here, but President Mahama's face is getting nervous in this photograph because maybe somebody said something. Fifi Kwete is paying attention to what Julius Debra is saying. Hudu Yaya seems to be thinking about what Julius Debra is saying. I don't know what Julius Debra is saying, Dr. Dufour seems to be taking it in, in what Julius Debra is saying. Put the photograph on, ha, ah, I like it like that. So now viewers, you can see it well. So look at President Mohammed's face. You see, he's pondering over something. If you look at Fifi Kwete, he's listening to Julius Debra, ah, what's, 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 where is he getting to? And then if you look at who do you are, he's smiling because he seems to like the outcome of what Julius Debra is saying. If you look at Dr. Dufour, he's thinking, Wow, really? You think so? Well, maybe. That's a kind of uh, impression you get in Dr. Dufour's face. And you see Julius Debra with a smile making a presentation of a narrative. But look at John Dramani Mahama again. Look at Dr. Mahama closely. You see that he's doing the leadership thing. He's taking the thing in, but, but really, we don't know what they are saying. We don't know what they are saying, you know? Let's look at the next photograph. Ah, it gets broader here. Now, in this photograph, it gets better. Uh, Kwabna Dufour Jr. is in there. That's Dr. Dufour's son. Please put the photograph up. Uh -huh, great. So now, from the first from the left is Kwabna Dufour Jr. He's in with a pensive kind of look. He's not smiling. He's not laughing. He's just being his father's special assistant. And then you have Joshua Labi, who is beaming with smiles. Dr. Dufour Jr. is not smiling. You know, so you have two Dr. Dufours in the room. Dr. Dufour Jr. on the left is not smiling. Joshua Labi is saying something that seems to be very exhilarating because Fifi Kwete and Hudu Yaya are burst out in laughter. President Mahama is controlling his smile. Dr. Dufour is smiling a little bit. 
But Dr. Dufour Jr. is not smiling. That's another photograph. I don't know what they're saying. But we are looking at all of these things. To, we'll, we'll get to the data, viewers. Don't worry. This is just the play. We'll get to the data. And then President Mahama sat next to Dr. Dufour in this photograph. Uh, all of these photographs were put out by uh, John Dramani Mahama's page. Okay. So this is John Dramani Mahama and Jenna Nopokwajiman. So why is there pressure on President Mahama to amend the running mate's choice of 2020? It is pressure that is going to be resisted by the supporters of Jonah Nopokwa Jeman, principally Sami Okujeto, Manebo Ama, Stan Dogbe, Joyce Bauer, Maud Gary, all of them are going to resist it. Bobier, the journalist, nice guy, he is with Julius Debra already. He wants Julius Debra to be the running mate. He doesn't want uh, Jonah Nopokwa Jeman. But then there are some who want Jenna Nopokwa Jeman. There are some who don't want Jenna Nopokwa Jeman. Now, where is the pressure coming from? It's coming from this data. Let me show you. Do I have the data? Okay, and this is, Dr. This is uh, uh, President Mahama and Dr. Dufour. So you have President Mahama and Jenna Nopokwa Jeman. Uh, President Mahama and Dr. Dufour. Okay. Uh, okay, Dr. Dufour and Jenna Nopokwa Jeman here uh, for viewers to make your choice. All right. This is the data that is bringing the problem. The reason why there's pressure on John Dramani Mahama it's about this data. Let me show you. Okay. 2020 presidential election results, Ashanti region, is as follows. All right. So here's Ashanti region's presidential uh, results of 2020. Nana Adodankwa Akufuado, my favorite politician, pulls 1.7, 1,793,773. It represents 71% of votes in Ashanti. John Dramani Mahama pulls 652,962, representing 26% of the votes in Ashanti. If you look at it closely, uh, Adodankwa Akufuado has beaten John Dramani Mahama by 1 million votes in Ashanti. What it means is that at the end of the day, after all the 16 regions has been tabulated, if the National Democratic Congress is leading the MPP by less than 1 million, then there's a problem. For the National Democratic Congress. Because in these results, which is not uh, the MPP's best performance in Ashanti, this is worse than 2016. 2020 was worse than 2016. Adodanko Akufado is leading John Mahama by a clear cut 1 million votes. So if you finish all the tabulation and the NDC is leading by 500,000, then you know that when the Ashanti comes, the NDC will be losing by 500,000. That's the, that's the story. That's what is giving John Mahama pressure. Okay. Now, John Mahama picks up 652,000 votes from Ashanti. At 26%, let's move on. 2020 presidential election results, Volta region, the NDC stronghold. Adodanko Akufuado is getting 101,084, representing 14%. John Dramani Mahama, keep your eye on this figure, 606, representing 84%. So the NDC stronghold of the Volta region is delivering 606 representing 84% of the votes in the Volta region. That 606 is less than 652, representing 26% in Ashanti region. So the conundrum is this. Some of the NDC people are telling President Mahama, Volta region is in the bag. Volta region is always going to be in the bag. We have them. They are people. We need to do more in Ashanti. Because in Ashanti, if we were to get 30%, that figure is significant and will keep Volta. So, Mr. President, have a look at Asante for your running mate. That may be the story. You go to Central Region, what are we going to get in Central Region? We are leading in Central Region, we can consolidate. Our majority leader, our two forces, comes from Central Region. We're going to consolidate Central Region. We're going to win Central Region. NDC are going to be telling John Muhammad that we're going to win Central Region. We can win Central Region. It doesn't matter. Let them have Cape Coast North, which Ekwe Uzi will get. Come rain, come shine, MPP will get Cape Coast North. Uzi will get it. I know that. But let them have Cape Coast North. Let them even have another one. Afenyo Makin will hold Winnie Nobody can take that from him. Eugene Ahen will pick up the Gomwa. Nobody can take that from him. Let Eugene pick it up. Let's lose Gomwa to Eugene. Let's lose Cape Coast North. We have the rest of Central Region. We're going to consolidate it and win it. So let's get into Ashanti. That's what they are telling John Mahama. And that is the reason. Let's put the photographs back. That is the reason for this meeting. Reason for this meeting was to check whether the Ashanti ticket can be explored for this matter. But not that everybody in this room, in this photograph, likes that idea. So let's see and watch that space and see what happens. This election is going to be very, very interesting. But remember that you heard this from here. 
You heard it here the first time, didn't you? It was here that you heard it the first time. Hallelujah be to the resurrected Lord. Okay. Now, Jenan Opokwa Jeman supporters, having heard this, I'm sure it's Samuel Kujetua Black and Co. Having heard this, told Jenan Opokwa Jeman, you see, everybody sees you as education and uh, you have to start talking economics small. You have to, you have to start talking economics. They, you have to look like you can talk the economic or vice president there. Economics is very important. So she did. And this is Jenan Opokwa Jeman talking a bit of economics and a bit of a bread and butter politics and a bit of that. Have a look. I think the best way is to use that position of privilege, if I may, it expands that in power to ensure that those who don't have privilege also have it. That those who don't have power also get it. And that when we have power, we use the power to ensure that those who don't have the power do have it. When you have the power to speak for yourself, you shouldn't forget that there are others who don't have power to speak for them and for themselves, and therefore you use it to speak for them. So it's been given to you for a purpose, not for yourself only. When you have power, use the power not just to speak for yourself. Uh, let other people be able to speak for themselves as well. When you have the power, you have to let the people also have the power. That's from Jenna Nopokwajima.